All right, good morning. Welcome to possibly your first e-learning course where you're not in class and having a teacher on a daily basis. But I will be making these videos every Monday to kind of give us the heads up on what's gonna be happening uh, each week. So if you are ever in doubt, if you are ever feeling behind, or if you ever do just wanna reach out uh, and touch base with me, email is always good, or you'll be able to find uh, these videos on the course homepage. I will be using the course homepage a lot. So if you're ever looking for information about what you should be doing, please, your first stop, go to the course homepage because before you even send me an email, it might be sitting there uh, in one of these videos or just as an instruction on the course homepage, okay? Uh, quick introductions. I am Mr. Lambert. I teach at Orchard Park Secondary School down in Stony Creek. Uh, and looking at our class list, we have students from all over the board. There are 35 of us in this class. And photography, uh, e-learning seems to be a very popular thing, so I hope we have lots of fun. This course is not meant to be stressful, <laughs> right? It is the e-learning world, so that comes with a little bit of stress and just the fact that I'm not there to answer your questions uh, directly. But this is photography. This is one of my... Uh, loves and hobbies, so I hope we have lots of fun and I hope you guys enjoy uh, this course and I hope you take a lot uh, from it because photography is one of those things that you can do for uh, really the rest of your life. It's one of those hobbies that can last forever or careers if that's what you want it to be. Right, even behind me, uh, on the wall behind me, I got a bunch of the pictures that I've taken uh, throughout my travels around the world, which I love to do is travel and uh, carry around a ton of gear uh, with me when I go on my travels and uh, take lots of pictures. And I'll show some of those pictures uh, throughout this course. Now, for the next two days, we are simply going to be doing the e-learning orientation, right? If you went to or listened uh, on Teams to the little information night that happened on Wednesday, they probably talked about the orientation, uh, the orientation is something that all e-learning students do. You might have even taken an e-learning course and done it before. Uh, just to get you familiar with what is required, how to use a Dropbox, how to, you know, even though we've been doing this for so long now, <laughs> that that should be pretty easy. Uh, but also the portfolio and also the discussion post because you might not have done discussions. Uh, and we're just going to practice those things, make sure everyone can do them. And all e-learning students uh, do that as their first uh, and then on Monday, I'm going to be posting a new video where we are going to be up and running uh, and everything running smoothly. Two things that I am going to go through today with you is, and I'm going to show it on my screen and I'll be a little picture in picture here walking you through it, what you need to do for the e-learning orientation. Because if you've never done an e-learning course, um, the e-learning orientation is very simple. There's just four steps that you have to do, four little check marks. There are a number of modules that you can read through, which I highly recommend because they just talk about being, you know, a good digital citizen and what it means to be doing a course online and how you answer people appropriately uh, online and those kind of things, which is all good. That's in the content, but there's really only four main steps uh, that you have to do. And I'm gonna walk you through those now. We're going to click on uh, your waffle. I'm gonna scroll to our class, which is the AWQ 201 and the day AWQ 101. This is a stacked class uh, with grade nines and grade tens. Uh, I'm just gonna click on the 201, which hopefully you see in your waffle. And it's gonna come up with the course homepage. This is where I will be posting stuff uh, every Monday. So please always look on the course homepage. But right now we're gonna click on content and you will see the e-learning uh, student orientation package, the course outline, and introductions. But for now, for the next two days, we're just going to be doing the student orientation. There is the checklist, your PSP, and then three modules with information that you can go through. But right now, let's just check out the checklist. You know, I talked about the four things that you have to do, and if you scroll to the bottom, I am going to uncheck these and pretend like I didn't do them. Uh, but we are going to look at them right now, okay? So I went through and I went through and made sure everything worked, which is why mine already have it checked and says that I have completed them, but we are going to look at them right now. So step one says submit your PSP to the PSP assignment folder. And you can see right here, this is where the assignment folder is. 
But first, we have to complete the PSP. We have to fill it out, which is a two-page document uh, kind of just telling me about you. The second thing is that we are going to go to the orientation discuss discussion board and you simply are going to tell me what your favorite food is, right? It's just that it's so I know you know how to use a discussion board. Then the third one, you are going to send me an email uh, telling me what your favorite movie is and I am going to email you back telling you what my favorite movie is. And for this one, and I'm going to put it on the screen, but my email, just in case for whatever reason you can't find it, is mlambert, L-A-M-B-E-R-T, at hwdsb.on.ca. Uh, hwdsb okay? I'll put that on the screen as well. And then the very last step is to complete the orientation quiz. The orientation quiz uh, is something where you should read all the modules before you do the orientation quiz, and then you are done the four parts for the orientation. All right, so let's go back to the content. So this was the checklist. The very next thing is your personal success plan. So if I click on it, right, little student instruction, student reflection, and you can see this nice little graphic right here pointing at it being this is your PSP. So, and I like here where it says important, submit the completed version of this document, which I will talk about in two seconds. All right, so if I click it, you can see that it went to my downloads. Here it is right here, I'm gonna download it. It's going to open up. Now, this is what it meant by uh, sending the completed one, because now you have downloaded a blank one, right? Which is good, that's the first step. But now I'm gonna start to fill it out, All right? I'm gonna put my name, and if the font size is a little bit off, you can adjust it uh, so that yours fits. But now I wanna change the name of the file to a new one that has my saved information. So the one that has all the blank one is called the 2021-2022 PSP Student Orientation. The one that has, has been filled out by me, I'm gonna add the initials uh, ML. I'm gonna save it to my desktop. Uh, and I had already done this once, which is why it asked me to replace the old one. And now, sitting here on my desktop, I have one with the ML. And if I open it up, my name is there. I'm not, because unfortunately I've taught e-learning before and sometimes people send in the blank one, right? They downloaded it and then when they went to upload, they just uploaded the blank file rather than the file uh, that you filled out. So please just make sure you are uploading the one that you filled out and you did save it somewhere that you can find it uh, nice and easy. Okay, so you're gonna go through this, talks about effective communication, learning skills and work habits uh, in different learning styles in the e-learning course. All right, so now I'm going to jump back to our uh, checklist because now I've filled it out, I'm done it. So you're gonna go to your e-learning student checklist. I'm gonna scroll down. I wanna hand it in now, right? I wanna to go to my personal success plan assignment folder. I want to add a file. I'm gonna to go to my computer. I'm gonna upload. It is saved as the 2021-2022 orientation package. You see it appear here in blue, which is good. Then you can see uh, that it's been added to the file that I'm actually going to submit. I'm gonna click it. I can see that my I got a confirmation email saying that I did uh, actually complete that work, which is nice because you will get a confirmation email. And then I click done. And now you can see I have two submissions because I did it as practice first and uh, now I have added another one. So I'm gonna go to the content. I'm gonna to go to my checklist. And it's always nice, uh, well, pretend I didn't already do all these. And now I have one check mark because I did upload something to the folder. Now, the next thing is you need to participate in a discussion board, right? And the following link is posted right below it to the orientation uh, discussion board. And you're gonna talk about your favorite food, all right? So I'm gonna check it right now and I'm gonna to go to it. You are gonna start a thread, all right? I've already posted uh, once, but I'm gonna do it again. 
I'm going to start a new thread. My, uh, let's go with Mr. Lambert's favorite food. Um, and I went with pizza last time. This time, uh, what would be something different? Oh, soup. I love soup. <laughs> I'm going to go with some soup. And maybe I'm even going to put a picture of a, my favorite kind of soup. Who knows? But then I'm going to post it. Right? So now I've got two posts. I'll be able to... And, you know, you could say why it is uh, your favorite food or something like that. But that's as simple as it is to add to a discussion post. You want to start a new thread. And then you give it a title. And you write something in that. And even within this, there are options where... Um, I can reply to other people's. Unfortunately, nobody else has posted yet uh, for me to reply to, but you can reply on other people's uh, and add to it. So now I've done two of the things that I need to do with the orientation. I'm going to go to my orientation checklist. Once again, I'm going to unclick these because it's saving them from when I did do them the first time. And you need to email me. Once again, uh, you're telling me what your favorite movie is. I will send you an email back. We want to do this step to make sure that uh, we are able to communicate with each other through email. And please make sure you are using your school email, not a random email that you have uh, for something else. Please use your HWDSB uh, email for this, okay? Then I'm going to assume I emailed myself and I got an email back, so I'm going to give it the check mark. Then the very last step is to complete the orientation quiz. I recommend looking through the modules. And then once you've done the quiz, give yourself the check mark, save it, and you are done the orientation. Okay? Hopefully it helped uh, with this little screen recording going through uh, all these things because I plan to do that with the Photoshop and Lightroom and all the different software we use. So hopefully this was uh, helpful. Once again, content look at the checklist, download the PSP, make sure you are uploading the filled out version of your PSP, do the discussion post, send me an email, do the quiz, and then you're done. Uh, and then, starting on Monday, go to the course homepage. I will have a new video uploaded with our uh, activity for the week. All right, so always go to that course homepage, this right here, to see what is happening. All right, also, if you are a person who has done the orientation, you've completed the four steps, you've done your four check marks, I have emailed you uh, an email back, because one of the steps is emailing me and I email you back, um, you can start to go through our first content, which is always going to be broken down into a minds-on, an action, and a consolidation. The minds-on part is to get you thinking about a certain topic. The action is kind of where you're learning about whatever that topic was, and then the consolidation is the assignment for what you will be completing based on what you've just learned. Okay, so each week there's gonna be a minds on, an action, and a consolidation. You can start to, the first part uh, doesn't have a minds on consolidation and action, but it is what you're going to need in order to do those, which is downloading certain apps, right? On, so if you are using an iPad, you're gonna to go to your school catalog. Hopefully everyone does have their school iPad. You're gonna to go to your school catalog, download Photoshop, download Photoshop Fix, download Lightroom, uh, Pick Collage are four good apps that will be beneficial throughout this course. Lightroom, definitely gonna be a good one. Photoshop, obviously gonna be a good one. Uh, Pick Collage, you might be a person who has your own uh, software or app that you like where you're gonna organize your pictures. If you do not have one, Pick Collage is a good one uh, to use, and it is free with our HWDSB catalog, so you could download that onto your uh, iPad. Other thing, you're going to be taking lots of pictures. Those pictures may be on your iPad. They might be on your phone, or you might actually have a DSLR uh, camera. Whatever means that you, or it could be a GoPro, right? Lots of different options. Whatever you are using to take your photos is perfectly fine. At times, will I be discussing how to use a DSLR properly? Absolutely. I know, you know, we are doing this remotely, so not everyone will have access to a DSLR. Maybe you have an aunt, uncle, parent, maybe you have one yourself. 
uh, which will be great if you do have one. If you do not, the phones nowadays, you know, if you got an iPhone 12 or 13 or whatever we're up to, uh, will take very good pictures as well. This gets you, gives you a little bit more artistic freedom, right? Because you can put different lenses on, let you do different things. Uh, but in terms of the quality, the new phones are producing very good stuff, okay? So if you don't have an actual DSLR camera, it will not affect your mark uh, in any way because you can still take creative photos, right, with your phone. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, you may be at a school right now though where uh, even though you're doing this on an e-learning course, you might be able to go to the photography teacher and ask to borrow one of these for an afternoon, uh, which would be great, right? Give you a little bit of experience with an actual uh, handheld DSLR camera where you actually have to like change the settings and do stuff, even though you can do those on uh, the phone and the iPad as well. So just really don't worry about not having certain tech in order to take pictures. Yes, I will be talking about these at times, but it is not uh, a requirement that you have one, okay? Really exciting if you do. And I'm even gonna say, you know, kind of side tangent, uh, if you ever want, if you're thinking about getting one of these cameras and you ever wanna talk more in depth about different brands, different types, types, you know, we could set up a Teams meeting and kind of just talk uh, a little more casually rather than through email. Uh, and we can talk about different cameras and what might be best uh, for you. So if anybody is interested in that, we could set up a Teams meeting uh, and do that. And we could also set up Teams meetings uh, if for whatever reason you are experiencing any difficulty with any of the assignments, right? And maybe email isn't working the best. We could set up a Teams meeting. Maybe we have it at lunch uh, or something and we can uh, discuss, you know, whatever creative ideas you may have for your different pictures. I am very excited to see the different pictures that people create because it's just one of my things that I love looking at other people's images. I love to see how people are creative and that's what I'm gonna look for in this course, right? Be creative, don't be afraid to take chances with different types of pictures. They may work, they may not work, but once again, you know, I mean, there will be some explanation with your pictures. Write that in the explanation, right? Why didn't it work? What was the challenge? What was what you something you learned? Uh, from that experience of trying to take uh, a certain picture. All right, so kind of to wrap up everything. First two days, we are completing the orientation. Uh, hopefully you're able to get through those four checks in the next two days. Send me an email, do the discussion post, uh, do your PSP, which is your personal success plan, um, and do the little quiz at the end. Those are the four things. You get those four done please download the different apps onto your iPad just so that you already have them and you are good uh, to go. On Monday, we're gonna start our first assignment where we're gonna be looking, you know, and part of photography is looking at the world and I'll talk more about it uh, in our next video, but you are capturing light with your photographs and the different ways that you can capture light give it a completely different meaning or uh, aesthetic to each image and picture. So next week, that's what we're gonna be looking at. We're gonna be really looking at how we are capturing uh, light. All right, I'm excited for a fun semester. You guys work on your orientation, start downloading those apps, and I will see you guys on Monday. All right, later guys, looking forward to a fun, a fun year.